We've now created both ends of the request response cycle. We have classes which represent a request and response. We're now going to focus on what actually happens in the middle, in between those two things. And what we want to do is create a class which is responsible for taking a request and turning it into a response. And the class responsible for handling this is called the HTTP kernel. The HTTP kernel is a class which is used by both Laravel and Symfony to represent the core of your application. From a very high level, its functionality, or should I say its responsibility, is really quite simple. Receive a request and output a response. And this is handled by a sole method called handle. And for the time being, that's all we're going to concern ourselves with. We're going to pass a request to the kernel's handle method and then return a response. The first thing we shall do is comment out these lines here. And then again, we're just going to sketch out how we want our code to look, how we want it to work. So let's remind ourselves we want to pass a request into the handle method of a kernel class and return a response. So response equals kernel handle and then we are simply passing in the request object into the handle method of the kernel obviously we don't have a kernel object yet so let's go and create that kernel equals new kernel so we're going to need to go and create that class now and again this is going to go in framework http and we're just going to call this kernel so in certain frameworks, you might see it referred to as different things like app kernel or maybe HTTP kernel all in one word. But we know this is the HTTP kernel by the fact that it is in that namespace and it's in the HTTP folder. So we know what this is referring to. OK, so we've created that and we just need one method on here and that will be handle. So public function handle. This will take a request, a HTTP request object, and it's going to return a HTTP response. So again, what we're going to do is we're just going to hard code the content for the time being. Obviously, this will change later on, but all we're doing now is just making sure that we have a kernel. It's taking a request and returning a response. And so this is just a methodology which I find works for me. I tend to have something which is always or nearly always working. So I can just keep going back to the browser. And I just add little bits at a time. Like we started with uh, just a request and a response. We saw that, that works and we're just adding little extra bits now. We just build it and build it. And we always have something which is working right from the start. And we never go too long or write too much code without actually having something working that we can check is working. Okay, so from here, let's return a new response. And the content will be the content which we just created. And as you can see, we have defaults for the status and the headers. So I don't need to actually provide arguments for that. Back to our index.php. Let's make sure our kernel now belongs to the correct namespace and we are receiving the correct class there and we can go and delete these lines now and I'll just drop that down to there refresh the browser that's still working all is good just to finish off I'm just going to make sure that I import this like the others if we go to the top then you should see three use statements we're using our kernel our request and our response and so just to recap on where we've got so far we started off by requiring our autoloader, which meant that we can autoload all our classes, all our vendor classes and the ones which we create ourselves in our framework and in our application. Then we created a request from the globals. Using the super globals, we're able to create that request object, which holds a load of data regarding the request. Then we went and created a kernel or a HTTP kernel which is really the core the heart of our application and on that we called a method called handle passing in the request and so everything which needs to happen in between receiving that request and actually creating a response will fall within the bounds of this handle method and then to finish everything off we just sent back our response which in essence we're just echoing out the content
What we want to consider now is what happens inside of this handle method. The thing that we're going to tackle next is how we can take this request and the information contained with it in order to route that request to a correct handler, which in our case will be a controller, in order to do the logic which will form that response.